Hello one and all, my name is Rio and welcome back to another match day preview for you. So of course, uh, tomorrow night Chester will see you back in action as we travel to uh, Winsworth United in the Cheshire Senior Cup first round. So uh, make the draw, uh, short journey, uh, journey across Cheshire. So, uh, you know, it should be a decent game for us now. I uh, can't wait for the match of course because I've never been to uh, Winsworth before. And it will be our first meeting away with Winsworth. So, uh, yeah, it should be a decent game out for, you know, for us tomorrow night. So of course, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also feel free to uh, come down your thoughts on the game so let's get into today's video right now. So with it being a Cheshire Senior Cup tie, it doesn't take long to get to Winter with me whatsoever. Uh, so, you know, with that being said, it only takes about half an hour to get there. So uh, it will be a short journey for us. And we've never played Winter the way before. So uh, for all of our supporters, we will be going tomorrow. Uh, it will be our first ever journey there. So uh, hopefully it will be a good one, of course, because Winter, they play three leagues below. So uh, they play the St. Luke's Barton Stadium. So uh, as I said, uh, just then they played in the North West Counties League. So that is three teams below us. And uh, to be fair, it is a bad ground. It's not the best ground. You know, you know it's uh, never going to be the best score I'm going to go to but uh, you know for a tie to uh, you know three leagues below us it's not awful so uh, but, you know it's not you know it's, it's not a bad setup there to, uh, you know to be honest with you. Uh, I've, I've seen worse stadiums at that level and at this level as well you look at uh, Leamington, Ashton United, Bradford Park Avenue as well there all really bad ground so yeah Winsford it holds about uh, 3,000 I say you know looking on the uh, on their you know stadium page so uh, it's not an awful ground to be honest so first of all you have the main stand which covers about half the pitch and it is an all seater as well it holds around 200 Seat. So it's not a massive stand, but it still uh, does the job really. And you got the obligatory uh, clubhouse, club shop, bar there as well. You know, the, uh, you know the uh, the, chest, uh, the dressing rooms as well. So uh, it's not a bad stand to be honest. It has got a few supports and pillars, and uh, to our side we've got a few uh, standing areas as well. So it's not an awful stand to be honest. Uh, so that is the main stand, and opposite that is uh, a covered terrace. Not covered. That actually covers the entire, you know, the entire length of the pitch. So it's not a bad stand to be honest. It uh, doesn't have any supports and pillars, and it does cover the you know the uh, full length of the the pitch as well so that is a uh, it's not a bad cover terrace to be honest and uh, you know behind I can stand you've got a few uh, you know got a set of old fashioned floodlight panels too and then also uh, behind one of the goals it's just no uh, it's just an open terrace really and uh, interestingly it wins but it's a bit of a uh, quirky ground to be honest because uh, you know like other grounds it's just like a rec uh, rectangular shape but it wins but it's actually got an oval shape so I was informed by someone not so long ago that uh, many years ago they used to have a greyhound trap there so uh, that's why you know behind uh, both of the goals it is uh, quite far away from the pitch so uh, if you are to be still behind the goals well, then you know uh, your view of the action will be uh, you know quite far away so uh, you know behind both goals as well you've got like two grassy bank areas as well you know and uh, it's just um it's just uh, separated by a few barriers really so both goals really just the same really you know both uh, flat sand terraces really nothing uh, you know nothing too spectacular about them but uh, as I said it has got a bit of an oval shape going around so uh, it's not a bad ground Winsford to be honest never been there before obviously but uh, to be fair for Winsford they do play three least for levels uh, so uh, you know it does the job really so it will be our first during there tomorrow so uh, as you may know Winsford they nicely play in the North West Counties League and so far this season they aren't doing too well at all uh, they are only two places above the relegation so, so they are in danger of getting relegated and I've heard uh, from a couple of people that they aren't doing well this season so uh, hopefully we can and get the win tomorrow because I don't think we'll feel the strongest of sides as um, you know, Anthony Johnson, well, you know, one of our joint managers, said the other day that he's going to rest a uh, lot of our key players and he's going to field uh, some of our so called fringe players and also uh, some of our youth players as well, uh, you know, just to get uh, for them to, you know, play some first team football because at the end of the day, you know, we aren't in the FA Trophy, we're not in the FA Cup anymore as well. So I wouldn't mind if we, you know, had a nice one in this competition just to build a bit of momentum up because, as I say, we are doing one in the league, uh, you know, in the league this season. So, uh, you know, we won't feel the strongest of sides tomorrow, but I still think we'll be able to, you know, we'll uh, do enough to beat Winsford tomorrow. Because you know what, uh, if just three years ago it was in November, we actually played Winsford at home in the Cheshire Senior Cup, and we actually beat them 10-1. No joke about that, or you can even, you know, you can even check on the internet to... Uh, find out that I'm not lying at all, but we actually beat them 10 once, so uh, that was a fantastic night at home. I know Winsford, they have got a, a completely different uh, squad now, but uh, they aren't doing too well this season, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do beat them uh, you know, 10 1 against them all, but I uh, just got to respect them at the end of the day. I know it's the, um, the Cheshire Cup, but uh, still think, you know, still think we'll have enough to uh, beat them tomorrow, even if we play our uh, reserve side. So uh, they, are having a, you know, they are having a bit of a trouble season, but you know, they, they, do, they do seem like a decent club, to be honest, uh, a nice local club for us, so uh, you know just got to respect them a bit more tomorrow then hopefully we can get a, you know uh, just uh, progress in the next round so where uh, wins with the United aren't doing too well this season but and hopefully we can avoid a potential banana skin
Our head-to-head -head record of wins with United makes a perfect reading as on the 3rd of November 2015 beat them 10-1 at home in the Cheshire Senior Cup preliminary round. So uh, what a fantastic night that was for us at the Swansea Chester Stadium as Craig Hobson scored four goals for us. So uh, it'd be great if we can uh, expect a similar result tomorrow night. But as I say, wins for the R. I think they are a bit improved now, so, um, you know, uh, unfortunately I've looked everywhere and I can't find any goals in that game because I'm uh, sure you would have enjoyed watching them goals back, but I can't find anything that, uh, from that game, so uh, do apologise for that. Rinsford United's current form is a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. So, 34, they beat Paddy Humber to home 4 1 uh, before drawing two others home against Berska. After that, they drew one other away, 1874 Northwich, before uh, losing one other home to City of Liverpool. And then finally, just a couple of days ago, they lost 4 1 away, Ashton Athletic. So, Rinsford will be home to improve um, on that tomorrow evening. Our form is a bit of a mixed bag, too, but albeit we uh, did manage to beat FC United in Manchester on Saturday. So, first of all, on the 22nd of December, uh, we've been beat AFC Town for the United at home 2-1 uh, before losing 3-0 away at Southwards on Boxing Day. Uh, just a couple of days later we lost 2-0 away at Hereford FC. Uh, then of course on New Year's Day we drew 0-0 at home against Southport. Then finally on Saturday we beat FC United and Manchester away 2-0. So uh, hopefully we can uh, record another away win tomorrow night to cap off a perfect couple of days. Wins with United's key play for me is Dave Shaw who is a striker. I must admit I don't know much about him but I uh, do know he has played for 1874 Northridge so far in his career. Uh, and during the summer he signed for Winsford where uh, just a couple of weeks ago we actually scored the hat trick of Winsford 4-1 win against Paddy Hum so uh, he will be a danger man to look out for tomorrow if he is to play because uh, he only scored the hat-trick a couple of weeks ago on the 17th of December so uh, you know he, he could prove to be one of the uh, wins for his key plays uh, you know, tomorrow night so uh, whoever plays now with defence tomorrow could be anyone really because uh, as I say we could be playing some of our youth players and finish plays tomorrow then uh, they must be on their guard to watch out for David Shaw who uh, sounds like a decent play for Winsford. I know this is only a Cheshire Senior Cup tie, but for some reason I can't wait for this game. It's probably because uh, it's an away match under the lights, isn't it? So I've uh, never been to Winsford before, so it will be nice to get this ground tipped off my list. It's not the greatest of grounds, but as I said before, it's, it's not bad for Winsford to do our uh, three leagues for level. So we should be beating these sort of sides, whether we uh, play our you know play our first team or put our reserve team out. We should be beating these uh, sort of sides. So I do think we'll win tomorrow. So uh, my score prediction is win, uh, Winsford United nil, Chester FC 4. So I do think we'll run to another win tomorrow. And I think uh, Nathan Brown will score too. I think Yuri Murray will score. Also, I think uh, John Moran will score from defence as well. So uh, I do think we'll beat them. Uh, you know, again tomorrow, as uh, you know, like we did the last time, where we beat them uh, ten one at home. So uh, you know, uh, comment for the game. Also, of course, we'll be going to the game. So of course, um, uh, we'll be doing the vlog of the match as well. So of course, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to uh, come down your uh, score positions below. So uh, come on, City. You know it's only a Cheshire Cup game, but hopefully we can progress in the next round. Come on, you. Blues.